Hi guys, this is my uh, new homemade remote controlled magnetic loop antenna. Uh, right now I'm using this antenna for only 20 meters band. And now I will show you uh, how it looks. So this is the front panel of this my magnetic loop. A power button and this light indicates the motion of the motor inside inside the box up and down and fast and slow motion and the coax cable to transceiver So this is a secondary loop and it's fixed with this with this uh, belt and uh, right there is a mine loop it has uh, two turns of uh, 5 millimeters uh, in diameter uh, copper copper wire So two turns, and uh, you can see uh, the joints inside of this PL connector. And the same thing is on the second side. And this connector is also with PL. And here we go to try this antenna. Okay, so this is my ICOM 706 Mark II G, and here in my hand is the remote control. So let's tune my antenna on this frequency. You will hear much noise. The S7, this is the noise in the best position, and now we, we test the SWR, it's perfect, 1-1. One, one. If we will tune my antenna away from this frequency, we will see the SWR will increase much, much. Sorry, no, this is very bad. Good, one point one. We can we can transmit. Okay, so test is done, and now I will show you how it looks inside this box. So let's go. First we have to remove the loop from the antenna.
Okay, so let's look inside of this box. Here we are. So, here inside of this box we can see the tuning mechanism. It's made from aluminium plate and this is a small air capacitor and this is a, a motor, the tuning motor with the gearbox inside and uh, little plastic joints joining between this uh, between the uh, motor and and capacitor uh, right here this is the controller um, remote controller uh, gate and uh, these uh, uh, four channels or these uh, four relay uh, relays uh, controlling this four and uh, this relays uh, uh, switching the motor um, the DC uh, power into this motor and polarity and uh, of course uh, 12 uh, volts or 3 volts for slow motion 12 volts is for uh, fast motion this is uh, channel 1, 2, 3, 4 channel 1 is fast up, fast down, slow slow up and slow down and this is the voltage reg regulator it's uh, fixed on 3 volts for a slow motion down in uh, description I will <coughs> send you a link for uh, the AliExpress uh, internet, uh, internet website you can buy this uh, this model so the Cox coming with the RG58 right there into the PL connector the mine loop coming from this PL connector right into the capaci capacitor plates and the other side too below this uh, PCB board is this wire right there into this PL connector so it's very easy and very fun this is the place for the next uh, battery pack uh, right uh, now I'm using only the, the power the power cable with uh, 12 volts and the the IR sensor is located right here okay so that's all and I, I really hope that you enjoy this uh, uh, antenna and I hope we'll hear you again um, right now I will try again this antenna so screws are screwed into box and now I connect the loop on this box. It's very quick and very soon I will be done.
Let's turn on the radio. Propagation today are very poor on 20 meters. Solar activity is very low in the past days. So maybe I will hear nothing, nothing on 20 today. Just the birdies. No much activity today. And as you can see, I am inside of the building, uh, inside the room, so it makes a lot of attenuation on the band. One two one two. Hello CQ CQ. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango calling CQ from QRP. Right now he's setting uh, ten watts only. I'm able to transmitting with more like ten watts, but it's not good for my head. <laughs> I'm very close to my antenna. I will show you how wide is this antenna. 200. Again, because it's SSB. Again. Okay, SWR rise up after 30 kilohertz is not bad for so small antenna okay guys so thank you thank you very much and uh, hope to hear you on the band sometime with this small antenna magnetic loop so 73 bye bye